Hi, I'm David Hobowitz. Last time I was talking about how you can use virtual backgrounds in a Zoom meeting to fulfill the timer role in a Toastmasters meeting that you're holding online. This week I'm going to talk a little bit more about that, in particular how you can do that on an iPad. I've also learned a few more things that you'll want to know, and that is not all PCs can handle the virtual background functionality in Zoom. In that case, you need to go back to using the good old red, green, and yellow cards that you'll simply hold in front of the camera lens, right? And what differentiates that is that some of the older hardware can't handle it. The older computers or the older cameras just can't handle the virtual background com component of that functionality in Zoom. Also, if you have an Android phone, too bad. The, the Zoom app in Android does not have the virtual background functionality. So you'll just have to use the cards the old school way. And, and in the end, it's helpful to have those just in case you have a technology failure at some point in this process. But if you can make it work, it's really cool. So with that in mind, let me flip over to sharing my screen on the iPad so I can show you exactly how to do this. First, I'm going to come in here. Get the right screen. Swiping down in the top right corner, there's a button, and I'm going to show this again to you after I'm sharing my screen. But I click and hold the record button. I make sure that it only has Zoom selected, and then I click Start Broadcast. By the way, if it says something like Start Recording, then you have the wrong item sent, selected. You need to select Zoom, and then it'll say Start Broadcast. All right, so I've done that. Now I click here and I click onto my screen. Now I'm sharing my screen. <clears throat> you should have good. You have all of my cameras. So you can see everything that's going on all at once. All right. Now the first thing I need to do is go and get those files. So I'm going to go to my browser. And in my browser, we're going to go to a URL. Now I've already got it displayed, but I want to show you the shortcut URL that I've created. bit.ly slash timer backgrounds. That's this one highlighted right here. All right, when I go, it'll bring you to this Google Drive. There are four files here. <clears throat> so what I'll do is I'll click and on the first one, Timing. And now in the top right corner, there's a Download button. I click on that, and then it'll ask Download or View. I say Download, and I've got the file. Now I'll go back to the four files. By the way, you do see the Download All button here on the screen. Don't use that. It's going to bring all of them down in a zip file. And you don't want to have to try to deal with these zipped. You want to get each one of them independently. So we grab the green, download, download, go back, get yellow, click download, download, and red. Download, download. Great. So I've got all those. Next, where did they go? Well, they went into my folders for downloads. Now the problem is the virtual backgrounds is looking for those files in your photos. So there are various ways you can get them there, but probably the simplest way is open one of them, tap it again so it goes full screen. Now if I push in the power button at the same time that I push the home button, I push them together here and here, it does a screenshot. Yeah, a little hokey, but uh, you know what? It works. All right, so that'll go away. If I swipe to the left, I'll get the next thing that's in my downloads. Again, push both of them at the same time, and I get a screenshot. Yellow. I think that screenshot. No, we're good. And last one. Wait for that to go away. Red. Great. So now... We'll go back to our meeting, the Zoom meeting, and like before, I if I click on More this time, now I have the virtual background setting. I'll click on Virtual Background. Now, in the bottom of the screen, you'll notice it has None, and then it has the three default images that they like to share with you. We're going to add our images to this list, so I click the plus sign down in the bottom. And now you see that it's bringing up all of my photo gallery. I click on Timing, the white one, and then I click on Done. All right. 
I like to do these in order so that they appear in my list in order. Green, done. Yellow, done. And red, done. Now I've got my backgrounds for while I'm a timer. We'll flip it back to none. Now, this is an important thing here on when you're working with these, uh, make sure that you have you, you, your camera works when I cover this up. If I put on a background, now I'm still in the background. If I cover my camera enough, you can see in one of the pictures here is that it's covered. Now all you get is the background. And that way I'm less distracting. Remember that the speaker is going to be pinning your video to their screen. So all they're going to see is your screen in front of them. And it's distracting if it looks like this, and I'm sitting here moving around. So to avoid that, cover your camera lens. Again, verify that this works before you're in the meeting to make sure that your timing, that your background does work the way you expect. A little review on how to do this. When you're not running the clock, have your background normal and your video is normal like everybody else. When you're ready to time the speaker, when they start talking is when your clock starts. When your clock starts, also click the background for timing. Now you can leave it like this if you want. A um, little distracting. I could also turn my, my iPad away and now it doesn't get anything in the background. And then when it's green, you do the green background, yellow and red. And that's how you do it. I hope this works for you. Please add to the comments any experience that you have with this as far as if things work or work a little differently, or if you have better ideas or suggestions that you can throw in there. Until then, cheers.